guess, how can you to crack into pre season? Yeah, really looking forward to it. We've obviously had a massive off season. We've been working really hard, so yeah, all of us girls are super keen to get into it. Have you seen Loz around the club yet? Is she excited to be back? Yeah, Loz has been cracking in. Um, we've seen her a fair bit. We've had all our coaches' meetings, um, so each of us have had a chat to her already. And yeah, she's straight out the track today. Um, so yeah, she's been around heaps and she's here for heaps of support for us. What are the aims for this season? Um, we obviously want to win as many games as possible. That's the um, aim for us this season. We're going to go into it and just really focus on winning as many games as we can. What will change for that to happen, do you reckon? Um, like I said, we've had a really big off season. Our fitness levels are really awesome. We've really worked on our fitness. Um, so that's going to be massive for us. And yeah, just had a massive off season. The connection within the group's really awesome at the moment. Um, we spend a heap of time with everyone over the off season. So we're going to be really um, straight into it as soon as obviously pre-season starts. The messaging has been for the last sort of two seasons, it's going to be a slow build. It's going to take a bit of time and, and patience. At this point of the Port Adelaide women's program, is it a team that's ready to start competing, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, we've obviously got a new, few new girls on the list. So new coaches, new girls, it's going to be really awesome. And yeah, we're really ready to, like I said, win as many games as we can start from the start. We'll yeah, be there from the start. Our fitness is awesome and we're really looking forward to cracking in. So what's the next stage in your development? Um, I have like really worked hard in the off season. Um, it's my third season at the club now. So I'm getting a bit older, feeling a bit older, but um, yeah, it's going to be massive for me to make sure I'm driving standards at the club, working really hard for the young girls so that I'm, yeah, obviously leading by example and setting the standards for them. So could you, could you see yourself in a, an actual leadership position? Um, yeah, I'd love to see myself in a leadership position. Whether or not that happens, um, I'm still there to be a leader at the club and that's what I'll aim to do this season. Like I said, I really want to be there for the young girls and for the older girls too. I feel, yeah, really confident in speaking what I need to say and doing what I need to do to make sure we can win as many games as we can this year. Eight new recruits, what do they bring to the side? Do you feel like it's been almost a bit of a list overhaul given there are so many new players? Uh, not necessarily. I think we did need a bit of a change. Um, they're going to bring heaps of talent to our group this year and they're highly capable of coming straight in and really helping us win those games. Um, and yeah, we've got heaps of depth on our list this year, so we're going to be yeah fine coming into the season. I think they'll be great. What about like post Aaron? She's such an enormous figure around the club. Is it seem a little bit strange turning out without such a really prominent figure cruising around? Yeah, obviously. Um, yeah, Erin's gone now. Um, she was awesome for us, uh, but we've got a heap of new leaders at the club that are willing to step forward and. Yeah, obviously it's going to be a tough gap to fill, but we've got plenty of um, leaders, plenty of talent that will be yeah make it easier to fill that gap straight away. How crucial is it bringing in those 80 girls just in terms of experience for you guys as well? Yeah, well, we've got obviously Lammy, she's coming in. She's going to bring a heap of experience. She's going to be really good for us because um, we do have a fair few young girls. But like I said, like they're highly capable and they've been working really hard this off season. But yeah, it will be really nice to have Lammy also in with that mix. How tall of a task is, is the showdown first up? Uh, we're really looking forward to the showdown. Obviously, it's home game. Um, under lights and we've been waiting for this so we're going to really crack in. I hope to see as many fans as we can out here. The girls are really looking forward to it. Obviously we love the fans so it'll be nice to see heaps and heaps of people down um, for a home game for us so it'll be awesome. What did you make of the fixture? A couple of midweek fixtures here and there, a bit of a strange one. Yeah, the fixture is going to be a challenge. It's going to be an awesome challenge for us. We're really looking forward to it. Um, obviously we want to get as many games as we can so it'll be nice to have that extra game in this season um, but yeah it'll be a challenge and it's something that we're really looking forward to. Is there any part of you that goes I'm happy we're playing this amount of games but geez I wish we didn't you know have these random Thursday games or whatever that have been fixed in? Uh, not necessarily I think just having any extra games is going to be awesome for us obviously we want to play as many games as we can and if that means playing on a Thursday, well then that's that. It will be a great challenge for us and yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Your third year in the system now, how have you seen the growth of women's football in your short time in the AFLW? Yeah, it's been huge. Um, coming in, I was only 17 so it was a massive jump for me straight away. Um, but this year is would be massive again for me, like the development of all the girls, um, even just us, our team 
specifically like we've grown heaps we've had a massive off season this year and we're really looking forward to cracking straight in so yeah I'm loving it. Has two seasons been long enough to develop a genuine dislike for the Crows? Um, <laughs> yeah look <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the showdown I'll tell you that much um, but yeah it's going to be a good really good hot contest um, come round one for us and us girls are really looking forward to it and yeah me in particular for sure.